video, we talked about how certain frequencies have fixed geometries implied within them. These primal tones are not random, and today we're going to talk about why. The word chakra, literally translated from Sanskrit, means wheel or disc, but is referring to a concentrated vortex of energy, of which there are seven running along the spine, up through the top of the head. This line is also known as the Hara line. These seven chakras are directly correlated to the seven primal sound tones of visible light, thus gaining their respective colors. These fixed frequencies in resonance make up the tonal alignment of the Hara line. Qi translates from Chinese literally as air and figuratively as material energy, life force, or energy flow. The currents of qi flowing through your body are propelled by the vortices of your chakras. It's important to note here that chakras are centers of rotation, and if they aren't given energetic stimuli, their rotation can be compared to near stillness, thus not propelling any qi. These vortices are pathways through which the transferences of EMF energy occur between the body and its personal field, or the aura. In many New Age circles, there is a concept known as transpersonal chakras. These aren't part of the physical body, but rather they connect the physical body and its personal chakras to other people, higher states of consciousness, and the planet they reside on. Today we're going to go over the transpersonal chakras in Keelantic science, also known as the Kathara teachings. These teachings have been brought forth by Anne Hayes, or Ashayana Dean, who gave free lectures in the late 1990s and early 2000s in Sarasota, Florida. Kathara, or crystal, comes from the seven first audible sound tones, ka, ra, ya, sa, ta, ha, and la, or a, b, c, d, e, f, and g. This is a complex and interwoven body of work that we'll be diving into a lot as it correlates with much of our future material, but it's important to remember not to take any one sole set of teachings as gospel, as our root principle is comparative study. For now, let's take a look at the transpersonal chakras as presented in the teachings. In both the New Age circles and Keelantic science, there is an agreement upon these chakras connecting us to every faucet of the universe, your Hara line extending to its two separate ends, anchoring your energy in a direct line. Merkaba translates literally from Hebrew to light, spirit, body. The base shape of a Merkaba is made of two intersecting tetrahedrons that spin in opposite directions, creating a third dimensional energy field. This field is your EMF field, and its shape gains new complexities as the frequency is turned up, so to speak. It provides protection and is the vehicle that transports consciousness to higher dimensions. However, it is extremely important to note that different geometries and their implied Merkaba techniques alter the angle of rotation and affect the spin of your Merkaba, blocking access to higher consciousness by creating veils in our own DNA but we'll cover these differences on their own much later. When we talk about dimensions in this video, it's tricky because we don't mean dimensions in the sense of string theory or M theory. However, the two can be compared as they have many unique similarities. In Keelantic science, dimensions run in sets of 15, but there is no limit to the amount of sets. These sets each make up their own five harmonic universes, three dimensions per harmonic universe, 15 dimensions total. These five harmonic universes literally exist on top of one another within the same physical space, but on different channels per se, all the way from our particle reality to antiparticle, antimatter, all the way to the fifth harmonic universe That is why M-theory doesn't apply here, since the laws as we've observed them are vastly different in each harmonic universe. These are quite literally dimensions of consciousness or awareness, as they are only accessible 
by their respective levels of consciousness. We'll be diving a lot deeper into Keylontic geometry in the future, explaining the very basics as well as more advanced material to provide a better understanding of Kathara in general. This grid is the background template upon which creation manifests itself on every scale, from DNA formation to dimensional arrangement. Think of that saying again, as above, so below. So if we were to divide the five harmonic universes into five TV channels, what would that look like? Each of the five harmonic universes have different physical locations in our point of view and only inhabit life respective to their harmonic universe's frequency as well. If we were to travel to planets inhabited by higher dimensions, we wouldn't see the inhabitants or even the topography of the higher harmonic universes until consciously raising ourselves there as well. Harmonic universe 1 is made of dimensions 1 through 3. This is our base reality, and it's where souls begin their development. Harmonic universe 2, however, is the astral realm. This is what we catch glimpses of in near-death out-of-body experiences, lucid dreaming, and psychedelic states. This is dimensions 4 through 6, and if you think living in your astral body permanently is easy, just think of how daunting it would be to encounter a loop of any kind. In Harmonic Universe 2, you are mastering the lessons you have learned in Harmonic Universe 1. This is what most of us call the Higher Self, but in Kathara it's called the Oversoul, as it is a collection of your 12 completed incarnate experiences. When we say incarnates, we mean separate beings or lives, each having been through their own iterations. In Harmonic Universe 3, or Dimensions 7 through 9, we have the Monad Realm, where you are mastering your 12 Oversouls of Harmonic Universe 2, each made of 12 souls in Harmonic Universe 1. This state of being is called the Monad. Harmonic Universe 4, Dimensions 10 through 12 respectively, are the Avatar Harmonic Universe and mastering these levels of awareness requires completion of 12 Harmonic Universe 3 Monad life cycles, each containing the 12 Harmonic Universe 2 that each contain the 12 Harmonic Universe 1 incarnates. The goal of this progression is to help each other get there, as what lies in Harmonic Universe 5 is the entire point of this process of re-evolution. When we say re-evolution, it's because this isn't a direct upwards path. Souls falling downwards in frequency, whether by karma or by choice of interest, is just as usual as souls raising their frequencies to go higher. All of our incarnates, down to Harmonic Universe 1, are unique fractal sets of lessons for our soul, and it's worth mentioning these lessons will sometimes present you in the form of another, as two incarnations knowing each other while being the same soul is not out of the equation. Hence, it would presumably make sense that anyone that's ever been to war incarnates on both sides to balance out the soul's perspective. Mastering 12 Harmonic Universe 4 Avatar Life Cycles brings you into the Rishi State of Being, or Harmonic Universe 5, Dimensions 13 through 15. This process is the longest and the most involved with others, as it connects your local set of 15 dimensions to other neighboring sets through the highest realms of consciousness. This is where a Rishi can attain what is known as the solar body in esotericism, or the rainbow body in Dzogchen, permanently retaining their form and being able to manifest or demanifest at will, the goal being to help others become Rishis through synchronicities. A Rishi can also make the decision to quite literally become a stellar body, birthing themselves anew as a star, and depositing their quanta to create new life. This is why entropy is unnatural, as new souls are constantly created, new stars couldn't ever run out. Every star was once a Rishi, including our own. Our solar system was formed out of the quantum of energy that the sun came with. I want to end off by suggesting a breathing technique provided by the Kathara teachings. This is a simple breathing practice combined with visualization, 
that realigns your Hara line with your transpersonal chakras and the organic 12-pointed tree of the universe. A manual PDF with instructions will be linked in the description below, along with the rest of our archives. These PDFs are all direct download, no extra links or captchas, and for those interested in Cathara, everything is entirely free, since the physical copies of these books are insanely marked up right now. As always, other books on these topics will be linked as well, and thank you so much for being here. Till next time.